tonight is a Grammy-winning actor you know from Hamilton, Glee, and Frozen. He now stars in Netflix Mindhunter. Please welcome Jonathan Groff. <laughs> Nice to see you again. So nice to see you too. Thanks now, for having me. Now, last time you were here was uh, it was a different world. It was December of 2015. Correct. Getting on two years later. How you been? I've been good. Now, you left Hamilton since then. I mean, you were you were you know famously King George the Third in Hamilton. I was. Huge yeah. King George fans here tonight. Huge King George yeah. fans. Okay. Um, uh, do you miss it? Because now you're doing this great TV show, Mindhunter, that everybody's saying is so great. Yeah. On the Netflix. But you don't have, like, after you finish shooting, it's not like Hamilton. You don't go back to your dressing room and Beyonce's not, like, waiting there or, like... <laughs> because it was, right? I talked yeah, to a bunch right. of the cast members. They'd go back and it was like, oh, my God, Barack Obama's in my dressing room. That's like, so true. Like, what, what, like, do you miss that? It's a totally... It was a totally different experience because, like you said, at Hamilton, we would have all these famous people coming back after the show. And even as King George, I was only on stage for nine minutes. So it was a very... Nine good minutes. Nine good minutes, yeah. yeah, yeah but it was yeah. a very social yep. experience for me. because The cast would come in, we would hang. Oh, because you got to hang backstage. Yes. Well, they're out there all just wrapping their hearts out. Exactly. You're backstage. I'm just... the white dude just, like, chilling in the background. <laughs> And then, and then Mindhunter was totally different. I was living in Pittsburgh, and we had great long hours of shooting, and then I would just kind of come home and eat a piece of grilled chicken, and learn my lines, and go to sleep. So it was a totally opposite, but I really enjoyed it. That's a glamorous was... Hollywood life you live. <laughs> Very glamorous. Grilled chicken, and then go straight to sleep. Yeah, exactly. Because we were so busy shooting. It was great to go from, like, such a... A minimal amount of work, nine minutes mm -hmm. to the extent that was Mindhunter for us. Let me ask you one more question about Hamilton, which is, did you ever, like, go backstage and go, oh, I don't want to be with a famous person right now? Because they'd be there, and, of course, they want to be, like, hanging out with, like, the cast member, but what are you going to say? Like, hey, look how famous you are. <laughs> and I'm glad you liked the show. Yeah. What, was it ever awkward? No, it was always... You like it, it when people like, visit you backstage. Yeah, it's such an honor to have, especially, like, famous people and artists and politicians and all these people you admire coming backstage. Who's the least, like, person who came and said hi. What do you mean least likely? Like, w like someone who just wouldn't be coming backstage at a Broadway show. Like, is like, like. Oh, good question. Uh, I don't know. Like Stephen Hawking. Like, who is there? <laughs> <laughs> I just don't see him coming backstage to like, you know, <laughs> say you were fantastic. I'm such a fanboy. Yeah. You know, like, like that. Or maybe there were none. Maybe it was all like that makes sense uh, to me. Justice, ju the Supreme Court justices all came, so it was kind of all like... All of them a, at once? All of them at once. They all wow. came, sat in the front row. Yeah. They actually won the lottery. Oh, yeah, oh, Yeah, wow. they stood wow. outside for the lottery. Oh, so that's that was fantastic. Exciting. It was, you know what was interesting? Was Hamilton was such an emotional experience for people. So the thing that was complicated at the end, as yeah. you got to Performance yeah. 100, was that you had to handle people coming back just sobbing. You know, just sure. like, and you sort of were containing, sure. so that was kind of the job of yeah. post show, was containing people's emotions. There's the sobbing and the people coming in saying, Why am I crying about Alexander Hamilton? Because yeah, that right. was mine. I was like, I'm completely yeah. moved. I did not expect to get here from the guy on the, the 10. Yep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but now you're doing Mindhunter. Can you explain to the people what Mindhunter is? Yeah, sure. What are you hunting with your mind? <laughs> in the show. <laughs> okay. Thank you for that clarification. Mm -hmm. um, it's based on a book called, uh, by John Douglas called Mindhunter. It's David Fincher's new Netflix series, and it's about the birth of criminal profiling in the late 70s. This is like you get all the evidence, you get what kind of person is this, and by doing this sort of this uh, forensic psychology on this person, yeah. you kind of figure out what their motivations are and catch them that way. Exactly. My character Holden is inspired by John Douglas, who had this idea in the late 70s to go into these jail cells and interview these incarcerated criminals uh, to see if they could glean information about their motivations and their thoughts and their feelings before, during, and after their murders to help prevent it from happening. It was kind of the birth of the behavioral science unit and criminal profiling as we know it. Well, I, the thing is that it's, uh, the show is great. 
Uh, it's a bit of a surprise to some people who think of you as a Broadway musical star and not as a, a dramatic actor. Have you ever thought about trying to bring those two worlds together? Like maybe dramatic acting and Broadway music at the same time? Well, like yeah, it's funny because David Fincher, who's our genius that is our showrunner of our show and our director, he's famous for mostly for being a film director mm -hmm. and then he revolutionized entertainment it through television with Netflix, through House of Cards and now Mindhunter. And he and I became really close on the set in Pittsburgh doing Mindhunter. And he actually talked a lot about his desire to break into theater, into musical theater. And so we've actually been collaborating over the last couple of weeks on developing Mindhunter into a musical for Broadway. Wow. Yeah. Is there, I mean, where are you in the process? I mean, could, is there any way I could hear some of that? It's, well, it's early workshop stages, but actually John has been there with us. He's helping us develop the music. So I don't know, we could do the... Yeah. Oh, I don't know what this is. This is the thing you guys were working, you guys worked this out this afternoon. And yeah. I was with you also when we rehearsed. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Should we workshop it? Sure, let's workshop it right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we now present an early workshop of Mindhunter. The musical. <laughs> David Fincher, this is for you. They call me the mind hunter, the murderer, confronter. I hunt the minds of men who won't atone. But way down deep within me, Though killers want to skin me, the mind I'm really hunting is my own. But I'll hunt those minds, I will catch the killers, because he's the star of a Netflix thriller. From cannibalism, perpetrators to family member decapitators I won't stop until I hunt all the minds. Yeah! Mine Hunter is on Netflix now Jonathan Groff everybody we'll be right back with fun.